Okay, so down range we've got some spray paint and a road flare. I'm gonna try to take this 22, just shoot the nipple off, make a little flamethrower. There went the nipple, and I aim a little bit lower. Let's start the show. Hello my friends, it is FPS Russia again, and I've got one of the most requested videos that we've had for a while. Everyone's always wanting to see World War II weaponry, so I've got three of the best, in my opinion, American weapons from World War II. We've got the M1 Garands here. This was pretty revolutionary for its time. It was a lot more firepower than the average soldier had. In a time of bolt-action rifles, you had eight rounds of semi-automatic power firing a 30-06 round. That was a big step above what the enemy had in most cases. We've also got this M1 carbine. So this is so, sort of between the rifle and the pistol as far as the caliber. It's a 30 caliber bullet, more of a pistol cartridge. There was some plans there actually to replace the 1911 with this as a sidearm. If you can imagine this on a holster, I'm not sure how well that would go, but this was something that you saw paratroopers with, medics, people like that. This was sort of a backup weapon, not really what you were charging into battle with, but it certainly can get the job done. And then we've got the World War II bullet hose. We've got 45 ACP raining out of this thing at a very high rate of fire. This, of course, as everyone I'm sure knows, is the Tommy gun. So, got some interesting targets, some very interesting weapons. It's going to be a good day. Okay, so first things first, we've got our M1 carbine here. We were just talking about this, about how much it weighed. I don't know the exact weight, but it's light enough, I feel like I could throw it really far. That's the, the cool thing about this. It's that 30 carbine caliber, which is, like I said, somewhere between a pistol caliber and a rifle caliber. Not much recoil, and it's just really light. You can see where they had the idea of maybe replacing a sidearm with this, but I think it's going to chew up this ice nicely. So there you go, you can see not only does it pack a pretty good punch for that round, it's very accurate. We were able to pick off the little bits of ice that were left over. Really like this gun. Let's try something else. Okay, so down range we've got one of my favorite targets. I'm going to call this Shitter Mountain and we got our M1 Garand here. So when you're loading these clips in here, it's a little bit difficult and there's actually an injury named after the gun. They call it Garand Thumb and that's from when people got their thumbs almost bitten off by this thing, so it's a little bit precarious. You have to be very careful. So you can see there at the end, every time we go through eight rounds, that clip pops up, makes a very uh, distinguishable noise. They used to replicate that noise by taking these, clanging them against their helmets, then the enemy would pop his head up and that would happen to him. Let's move on. Okay, so we got our Tommy gun, and I just wanted to quickly show you guys, because it's hard to tell with a machine gun, but we've loaded it up with tracer and incendiary rounds, so you're going to get a sense of the real firepower. You're going to see every impact. I think it's going to be pretty cool.
also when you've got these rounds like this you can really see the kind of firepower you're laying down because every impact is so obvious I wonder if they had these back in World War II let's do one more thing okay so one last thing we couldn't live without using our Tommy gun on some of these Axis power 3 liter sodas so let's get to it So that was awesome. If you can imagine this much firepower back in World War II, as I've said a few times, a time when many of your enemies had bolt-action rifles and you've got a machine gun like this, especially for close quarters when you really run into those evil soda bottles, really impressed. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I definitely had a lot of fun showing off this old weaponry and as always, have a nice day.